Welcome back to the Theme Park Realm YouTube channel and welcome to a new series on the channel. Uh, so yeah, we're actually going to be starting a brand new series here um, of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Uh, now you're probably wondering, you know, why would you start a series on such an old game? Well, I've just been enjoying the game a lot recently. I've been playing, putting sort of a lot of hours into it. Um, and I've been watching a lot of um, Planet Coaster videos on YouTube as well. Um, and I just thought, you know, let's do a Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 series now. Um, and then once I've done the game on here, then I can go on to Planet Coaster. Um, I just, I don't know why, but I just really enjoy this game. Even though, you know, it is extremely old. Um, you know, you, you can tell just by looking at it how old it is. But I do really love the game. Um, I do think that once I've got Planet Coaster, I probably won't play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 again because Planet Coaster does look really good as well. Um, but, you know, for the time being, I, I just am really enjoying the game and I just wanted to sort of bring together... Um, a, like, I wanted to start a new park on there anyway. And then I was like, let's just record this, put it on YouTube and um, see what people think. So, um, here you can see that I'm just starting to construct um, sort of like the main sort of opening area. Um, and this building that I'm building at the moment, I'm trying to hide the entrance, sort of, you know, when you, when you sort of generate the world, there's always that, like, sort of ugly entrance sign. So I'm, I'm kind of sort of just trying to cover that over. Um, now, at the end, sort of, you'll see that I'm not so sure on whether to leave there or not. I might end up deleting this in the future. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I want something there to cover the, the sort of entrance area. But I don't know whether to move it along so it isn't actually covering that first... Uh, sort of concrete bit with a sign on so um I may go back and modify this in the future I'm not quite sure I might just move it forwards a little bit so it's not sort of round the building um but yeah it, I, was, I was finding it quite difficult to sort of cover it over um as you get as I'm sure you can see on the video now so like I was just trying my best and um, to get some sort of walls around it and things like that um and it just it just wasn't turning out very well so you can see now that I've sort of left that for now um, and I'm starting to do sort of the buildings on the side now my inspiration for this sort of entrance area has come from Alton Towers it is Alton Towers inspired this entrance area and um, there's gonna be sort of like a row of just like all multicolored buildings like I just re I don't know why but I just really like that about Tower Street at Alton Towers um, not so much years ago when they were all the same colour, but now they've painted them all like different colours. Um, I just think it's like a really nice sort of entrance area. So I've decided to do that for the entrance here. Um, you'll see at the moment I'm just kind of like getting the, the sort of basic sort of layout there. Um, and then eventually I'll go back and sort of pick the colour that I want. Um, I just thought, you know, the first thing that I should do is really just get everything, the sort of the main sort of piece in there. And you can see that I'm installing sort of like the main facilities for the park um, in the front here, like I've got an ATM uh, toilets, like a medical centre, um, and then I'll go back in, 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 in uh, later on I'll go back in and sort of put the colour on the buildings there and then decide what colour I want them to be. It's just better that way as well because then obviously if I decide that I want, you know, for example the medical building to be red to match the colour of the actual sort of stall, um, then I can do that as well there. Um, but yeah, my inspiration for this was, so what I, what I wanted was I wanted the building to sort of be like Tower Street, Alton Towers, um, and then I wanted the sort of there to be, I wanted there to be a lake at the very end of it. Um, and then I want a ride. So as you come into the park, I want there to be a ride um, sort of di just directly facing the entrance as you come in. Um, so I just think that'll look really cool. So you'll see some of that as well um, at the end of the video. You'll see me sort of put that ride in at the, the, the sort of back um, there on there as well. So, but yeah, you can see here I'm just sort of building up the buildings, carrying on there um, just to bring, you know, just to bring them up to height, uh, getting some of the roof tiles on there as well. Uh, but yeah, I've got some really good ideas for this park. Um, I want so obviously we've got the entrance here but then I want it to kind of like split off um, at the end of the, the road obviously at the end of this street now uh, there's going to be sort of like a lake and then I want there to be two paths and I want them to sort of almost go round in a circle but so there'll be obviously as you go in there'll be a ride straight ahead there'll be two paths that go either left or right and then I want those paths to sort of go around the back of that ride that big ride that I'm putting in there. Um, and that'll just mean then that I can have sort of a bunch of rides in the middle of that sort of path and then put some more rides on the outside. Um, now I do have the full sort of expansion pack on here as well. Um, so I would like there to be sort of a water park area. Um, I'm, I'm thinking sort of like a, um, almost like a western sort of theme on one side and then going round into sort of like a prehistoric theme um, and then into sort of like a water, um, sort of like a, um, a water park like area uh, around there as well. So I, I think that's going to work sort of really well in this park. Um, you can see there that I've just sort of finished off most of the buildings. Now that building 
there. Um, on the left of the screen that you can see at the moment, on the far left, um, I've kind of just left the front of that. You, you'll see it as just like sort of like an open space um, because I'm not quite sure if I am going to put anything in that building at, at the moment. Um, so I've just left it sort of open and then if I need to put something in there, I can. Um, if not, I'll just sort of block it, block the front of it off at sort of a, a later date there. But yeah, I'm just putting some details um, into the buildings as well. Put a few windows in there get a few doors in there as well, just get sort of the, the deeds. But yeah, I am really going to be focusing in this park um, on sort of like the fight, like I want to get the park as detailed as possible. So I'm going to be spending like previously when I've played this game, um, I've sort of just gone around and whacked rides everywhere, here, there and everywhere. Um, and I never really sort of played with like any of the building tools, um, all the scenery or anything like that. Um, and the parks were just sort of like a mashup of rides. Um, but I've learned, you know, in one of my parks that I've got on there at the moment, I've learned to sort of get the, sort of build the detail up now. Um, so I am going to be really as detailed as I can be with this park. Um, you know, I suppose that just depends how creative I actually am, but you can see that I'm getting all the fences in here. Um, there's going to be like flower beds, things like that. Because I've seen a few, if you, you know, when you're on the home screen of the game, um, there's almost like a uh, sort of there's like custom scenarios that you can open up um, and some of the parks on there are like really really detailed so I've taken a little bit of inspiration from that as well um, and you can see here I'm just putting sort of like flower beds in trees plants and um, because I've really in you know in some of my older parks I've really missed off those details um, and of course the buildings sometimes when I used to play it um, I didn't even build any buildings I literally just put sort of the the sort of like the health center for example would just be sort of in the middle of the path um, and here we're putting a bit of lighting in there as well um, um, now I do have a custom um, sort of lighting pack on this game as well, which I am going to be using at sort of a later point um, in today's video. But yeah, I've got like a custom lighting thing on here, so you can put like coloured lighting around buildings and things like that. Here you can see now, um, I'm just sort of starting to colour the buildings in now, so we're getting a bit of blue uh, on that first one. Blue there just so it matches the actual toilet thing in the middle of it. Um, and then we're going for a nice red on that building there. Um, and I do find that really satisfying just going around with a paintbrush. Um, I've gone for green on that. Now I know obviously the medical centre in the middle is, is red, but I decided to go for green on there anyway. Um, and again, that building there, not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but you know, I may just block it off at a later date. Um, but yeah, we're getting all sort of nice, uh, sort of coloured, um, different coloured buildings there as we go along. And I just think, you know, I do really like sort of like that sort of style of it. I know it's not really necessarily themed. Um, but I do really like that style. I think it looks really nice uh, sort of when you walk into that park there. Um, so yeah, here, here you can see this is where there's going to be the sort of paths that like split off um, in the two different directions. Um, so you're going to probably, as you're coming into the park, the path that's now on the right of, of the screen, I keep moving around really quickly, um, but yeah, the path to, uh, that goes off to the left as you come into the park, um, that's going to be sort of where... I want the sort of like the water area, sort of water world area to be. And then the other one is going to go into sort of like a western sort of themed area. And then as I say, as you come around the back, it's going to sort of, the, the western area is going to be sort of like a prehistoric and western sort of theme, sort of mashed into one. Um, so that's really what I want that to be there. But yeah, you can see here we're just sort of, you know, getting the, there's going to be like sort of like a nice sort of building round each path there that splits off. But yeah, it's starting to look really nice at the moment. Um, you can see sort of I'm just building it up. But yeah, this park, it's going to be, you know, it's not going to be very quick progress. Um, just because I am trying to be as detailed as I possibly can be. And you can see here, this end, end bit now, this is where the lake's going to be. So you can see here I'm sort of lowering the terrain there. Um, and then we're going to fill this up with water. And that's going to be the lake. Now, I'm going to be going for a log flume here. So as you walk into the park, you're, all you're going to see is like this massive log flume. And you can see here I'm just adding some sort of, you know, like a little bit of landscape there. So that when you walk in the park, it does look really nice. Like sort of, you know, impress impresses the, the sort of the peeps um, as they come in there. But yeah, I'm adding now, um, I'm picking the, the log flume here. So you can see um, I'm just putting the station area in there. And then I'm going to try and hide as much of the supports as I can um, I'm gonna you'll see in a second that I'll actually bring the terrain up even higher and um, just because I don't really want that all to be on show and I am gonna put a building around uh, that log flume as well but as you can see as you walk into the park 
all you're going to see is that sort of massive splash as it comes down. It's going to look really cool. Um, but yeah, the station area is going to be off to the side there. Um, you can see that I've just put the, the sort of queue. And here you can see um, I'm just raising the landscape a little bit just so that I can hide. Um, obviously, you know, you're, you're never going to get rid of all the supports, but just so I can hide as much of it as possible um, because I really do want this to be sort of a, a well-themed uh, sort of park area. So yeah, you can see there that it's going to come straight down as you're coming to the park, you'll be able to see that straight away, and then it's going to curve off to the, the left, um, and then go back into the station. Now, I did decide, you know, initially I was going to leave this sort of open, uh, but then I did decide later on here, as you can see, that I was going to put um, some buildings around it. Now, this log flume doesn't really have a theme as such, um, it's more of like sort of like just a gener generic ride. And now as I say, as we get further into the, the park, I am going to put more theme in on, on the rides, they will be themed. Uh, but this one is going to be generic and I, there is probably going to be another couple of rides around the entrance as well, um, which are all going to be very generic rides. Um, so this is just sort of to match the theme of the entrance. Um, as I say, the entrance isn't themed as such, but I wanted the same sort of style of building. Um, and you know it'd be difficult to get sort of a theme in, into that sort of style of building it's just sort of multicolored walls really um, but yeah I wanted to build sort of like a building you can see here I've put like sort of two towers either side of the main drop on the flume and then I'm just sort of trying to build up a building around um, sort of the support area just to again as hide as much as I can of the supports uh, but also as well so when you walk into the park the flume sort of area matches the actual entrance area and um, so it doesn't just sort of like stick out so it actually does match um, but yeah, I'm going to leave you anyway with some of this footage here of me uh, sort of just building up this building um, and I'll be back very shortly uh, to carry on So here you can see me just sort of carrying on, uh, trying to get that building look really sort of impressive, just impressive as you walk into the park, and um, that's kind of what I was aiming for. So I've tried to get 
you know, as much of the building sort of surround the lake as I can. I didn't want to make it too big, sort of like unrealistically, but you know, I'm just trying to get sort of as much of it to sort of in view as you walked into the park as possible. I didn't really want there to be any blank space. Um, and then I started building some, you know, some trees around there, just again to sort of try and hide um, the actual sort of supports for the flume. As I say, I didn't want really any of that to be, or I wanted as little of that to be on show as possible. Um, I was sort of trying out another building here as well, and um, just to sort of cover the back section, um, you know, you could imagine that if this was an actual sort of real flume, um, you know, it'd just be nice to have something, you know, maybe maybe a little bit of sort of theming in there um, as you sort of come round the main drop. So, again, it was, you know, sort of partially to hide um, the support structure, but then also just to sort of build um, on the, the sort of whole look of the area there. So, as you walk into the park, um, you know, you're just going to be greeted by these buildings, um, and hopefully, you know, it's, it's going to look really nice. And I'm just putting some windows in there so you can sort Sort of see out as you're going around the flume and um, now the bottom of the building there you can see the door but I'm putting trees around that now to hide that and um, the whole thing and there you can see and um, I'm putting some trees around the back there as well just to again just to cover it up and um, so you know when you're at the back of the building you're really not going to know uh, that there's a flume there you're only really going to see it from sort of the front of the park as you do very first walk in and that's you know the look that that that's the exact look that I was looking for with that really and um, because you know you don't really I didn't really want it to be visible in any of sort of the themed um, areas that I'm going to put behind there um, and I've just popped the queue then and putting the station building in now again the station building uh, generic again it just matches uh, the entrance sort of plaza area as well and um, you know the same sort of color scheme uh, as the rest of the ride but yeah just building that station area around there just to make that look nice as well um, and you'll see in a minute I will start putting some trees uh, and some more scenery around the actual queue line area as well uh, but yeah with this series I want to be kind of interactive with this and um, you know as I'm sure you can appreciate it is a time lapse uh, just because I want to get as much done as I can in sort of a short space of time um, but yeah we you know at the moment the park uh, doesn't have a name I've just called it you would have you know seen earlier um, I just called it theme park realm um, so you know if anyone's got any suggestions for the name of the park um, do let me know in the comments below. As I say, um, I'm going for sort of like a, there's going to be a water park um, and sort of like a western theme um, and then also sort of like a prehistoric theme as well. So if you can think of a name for the park, uh, do let me know in the comments below and I, you know, I'll definitely consider um, any ideas that I get there. And also the flume as well. Um, you know, at the moment this doesn't have a name. Uh, so certainly if anyone has got any suggestions, um, you know, for the name of that or, you know, what other rides I could put in the area. Um, now you may have noticed earlier on there is a little bit of space um, sort of round uh, so if you imagine coming back into the park to the left um, sort of there's a corner um, sort of where I did the landscape and there's a bit of space there as well um, and I don't know whether to put a roller coaster there and um, again just you know there's not going to be a theme on these front sort of rides and um, but you know a little bit like gatekeeper and uh, where you've got that sort of roller coaster as you come into the park I really wanted to sort of have uh, something like that so when people walk into the park they can just see the rides but again you know you can't see these rides from elsewhere in the park they are well hidden and they're sort of secluded at the front sort of area and um, and, um, you know, as I say, there is going to be theming in this in this series and um, the other rides that I build around this are going to be very themed. Um, but this sort of area in particular is just sort of the entrance area. And you can see I'm, I'm sort of playing with a sort of a boat there as well. Um, just to, you know, just to put a little bit of theming sort of around and putting some rocks around the area and um, there as well around the queue. And um, again, as I say, you know, it is a generic theme, so I'm just trying to put sort of a few pieces around there just so it looks nice. I'm putting some loudspeakers in as well. Um, not sure what I'm going to put on them, but you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. I might put some, I might sort of steal a bit of theme music and uh, put that on there. And I'm just building sort of the trees around there as well. But yeah, you know, so far, I think the entrance area is looking really, really nice. You know, I'm really happy uh, with how that's coming along. Um, and you will see, I know I haven't actually ridden the ride yet, but you will see at the end of the, at the end of this video, I am I'm going to put some um like a POV uh, of the flume on there and you can see that's going to be the end so you can see now uh, what it looks like as you sort of walk into the park and um, but yeah I'm going to try and get these videos up as often as I can and um, there's going to be a new episode coming and um, hopefully I'm aiming for every week it might not be but yeah if you want to keep up to date with it do subscribe to the channel you can follow us on Twitter as well um, and I will keep um, you know the uploads updated on Twitter as well and you can see there I'm just putting a few bins uh, around because you know we don't want peeps trashing the trashing the place 
those roses as well, I feel like I am going to go back in um, and change them because they are a very odd colour. But you can see at the top of the screen there that space, and that is where I'm thinking um, of putting that, that other ride. But I'm not sure what to put there. So again, if there's any suggestions, do let me know in the comments uh, below as well. So you can see here I'm just sort of trying to put these coloured lights in now. So this is the custom lighting that I've got. And you can see that I'm going for sort of like a red. Because it just contrasts really nicely, uh, that colour, against everything in the game. Um, so I'm putting some lighting in there just so as you walk in, um, it's all sort of illuminated really nicely. I'm putting some red lighting around the front of the entrance there as well. But you can see I do think, you know, I am quite impressed with that. I do think it looks very impressive. Um, so yeah, you know, if you did enjoy today's video, uh, please do let me know what you thought in the comments below. Again, if you've got any suggestions at all, I am going to make this as interactive as I can, uh, so do let me know if you've got any suggestions for names, uh, other rides that I can put in, names for areas, things like that, do let me know in the comments. Um, and apart from that, um, I'm going to leave you with um, some on-ride footage uh, from the Flume ride, um, and I will see you in the next video.